Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today we're going to take a look at the web portal and app setup. The very first thing you're going to do is click on the settings or gear icon, scroll down and click on web portal and app. The very first thing you need to do prior to setting up your web portal and app is spend some time in the base setup and template settings pages. Once you do that, you're ready to set up the web portal. So the question people have is what exactly is a web portal? And it simply is just a clinic branded website that you share with your clients or patients and they can install it on their devices as an app. So let's go ahead and start setting up our web portal. The very first thing you'll be setting up is your web address. Now my clinic is called Complete Care Physiotherapy and I've just chosen Complete um, it's easy to spell, it's easy to remember, and so when you're sharing this with your clients or patients, they will remember, you know, complete. Whereas if I, if I shared complete care physiotherapy, they might not remember the full name. So if I click on edit, you can see I just put in complete. When you're adding, you'll simply type in the name that you want here. If it's available, you'll be able to select it. Once you select your web, uh, your unique web address, you're going to just come to the status and you're going to enable the portal by putting a checkbox here and you can turn the features on that you want. So for example, if I didn't want online booking, I would just uncheck that and online booking would not be enabled. Once you select all the features within the portal, you'll become, you'll come down to this clinic branded app section. You'll add a logo here and you can see my logo is fairly simplistic and this is what's going to appear on their devices. This little animation that we have over here is it shows you how you would install it on an iOS device because that's what we have toggled on. If you want to see how it's uh, installed on an Android device, you will just toggle that on. Next is the app name, and this is the long name that will appear in direct, uh, directory lists, for example. This is the short name. This is what is going to appear on their devices underneath that app. Okay. And then next you're going to select your color and you can move this little dot around and select the color. You can move this bar around if you want to select, uh, to choose uh, the color range that you want. If you know, know the hex code, you can put it in here and it will select it automatically there for you. And then we come to the information section. And if you want a notice bar, you'll just display that and you can put some text in there. And then there's some clinic information. And with the clinic information, you have some formatting tools that you can use. And then next is the client account section. And client accounts are, or user accounts are required in order for people to uh, access your web portal and app. And these are the required fields. So these are locked. And so at the very least, they have to put their first name, last name, email address, and create a password. So that's the easiest setup for a patient or a client. These are additional fields you do have, access, you do have available for you. At the very least, um, I would also suggest you select mobile phone because sometimes people put their email address incorrectly. If you are using intake forms, you're going to gather all this information from an intake form. So I wouldn't suggest you um, you check these boxes. It's just additional uh, it's additional steps or friction for someone to create that user account to access your portal. Next is your online booking settings. I have my booking increment set at 30 minutes. So for example, if my day is free from 8 to 5, it will display at 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, and so on. And then this is my online booking policy. You would have created this in your templates in the agreement section. And then I'll just select what agreement I want here. And my default payment policy, I'm integrated with Square, you can see here, and I have it set to no payment or credit card required at the time of booking. The next is the resource section, and the resource section would have been dependent upon the base setup. That's why you need to spend some time in the base setup. Once you set, once you complete the base setup, you'll have locations, you'll have practitioners, practitioners and services. You can see which ones are visible and which ones are available to book online. So you can have them uh, uh, visible, but they're not available to book online. And you can just access any of these uh, settings by just clicking on any of these links here, and it opens up all the edits. So if we scroll down to the service section, you can see all my services here. And this one service does not have an image. And so if I wanted to add an image here, I can add an image for the, for shockwave therapy. There's a browse free libraries that you can browse the internet to um, uh, get royalty free images and you can add them 
in here. And so I would suggest you add images because it makes your portal look that much better. And then just the very last thing I do want to show you about the resources here. So we have the resource section. Um, they're all available as individual public links. So for example, if I click on view public links, there's my complete.notero.com. This is typically used for a book now button um, on your website. If you had your services listed on your website, you can use these unique URLs as book now buttons directly from your website and it'll open up the follow-up um, massage therapy service, for example. So they don't go to the home page, they'll go to this, they'll go directly to the massage therapy um, in the service section, or maybe you wanted to specifically link it to your uh, locations or your practitioners. So it will go to the practitioner page list and all their services. So you do have those public links available for you as well. So thanks for watching and please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.